Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and I am starting a new project and this is another plain weave project. Uh, this is going to be a, a scarf that is made out of um, this here. It is Cascade Yarns Eco Duo and this is a 70% um, alpaca and 30% merino wool. And it's a singles, and this will be a great uh, project for our rigid heddle loom. And I want to figure out uh, the set for this yarn. Now, this is typically a knitting yarn, and it actually says, let's see, there's, it's 100 grams, 197 yards, and it says 18 stitches in four inches on a number eight knitting needle. But it doesn't give a set for weaving. So I need to figure out what my set should be. Now I have uh, two skeins of, um, I'm not sure what color this is called. Uh, it might have been latte, uh, but I have some in a different colorway that I'll probably use too, also. And um, so I'm going to, since this isn't unscanned yet and went into a cake, um, I'm gonna use this and figure out what my set is. And the way I'm gonna do that is uh, I've got this little card here that has a scale on it in inches and centimeters. And I'm going to uh, wrap my yarn around this for about two inches. And then I'm going to count how many wraps I have. And that will tell me what set I should use for um, weaving this in a plain weave. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, wraps per inch card, and this is just a card that has um, three inches marked out on it. It also has um, some common uh, yarn sizes and the uh, set that you can use for those. Uh, but what I'm going to use this for is wrapping my yarn around it to determine how many wraps per inch I can get. Now you could use a standard ruler. You don't have to have a special card, um, but it came with my uh, e-spinner, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm going to wrap my yarn around this card or my ruler, and I'm going to wrap it loosely. I'm not going to pull it tight or compress it because I want to mimic what it's going to be like on my loom. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap two inches so that I get a an average over a one inch section. And I'm going to push these over so they're just touching their neighbor. Okay. And we'll keep wrapping. I don't want to squish them together. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I've got two inches wrapped here. And now I'm going to count how many wraps it took me to fill that two inches. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, um, yeah, 17. I could probably get one or two more on there, 18, Nine, whoa, <laughs> unless they come flying off. Okay. All right, so I kind of squished them on there a little bit, but um, I think I'm happy with that. So I've got 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, I've got 20 wraps for two inches. So that gives me an average of 10 wraps per inch. Now, since I'm going to be doing plain weave, I want to have a set where my weave is balanced. So I will need the same distance between each warp thread as one thread to accommodate my weft thread going over and under. So if I have uh, 10 wraps in per inch, I need to divide that by two to get five ends per inch for plain weave. Now, if I were doing a twill, I would multiply uh, that by two thirds or for 10 wraps per inch, two thirds of that would be 6.67 or 6.7, or you could round it to seven ends per inch. Um, there aren't really any seven dent reads, but uh, you could come up with um, a reed substitution uh, to get seven, or you could use eight and uh, see how that worked. But, and, and the reason that you do two thirds is if you think about it, your weft is say you have a two, two, 12. So you're going over two and under two, over two, under two, instead of over one, under one, over one, under one. So you have half as many um, weft threads going in between the warp threads as in plain weave. Now, Two thirds is a rough estimate, and it's not a set in stone that you would use an eight instead of uh, a five. You might want to set it a little looser, or you might want to set it a little closer. It depends on what type of yarn you're using, and also what type of fabric you want in the end. If you want something that's a little more dense and stiffer, then you would go with a tighter set. And if you wanted something that was light and drapey, you would go with a smaller set or you would spread the warp out more. So maybe instead of um, an eight, you would use a six. Uh, that would give you something that's a little more loosely set. This is a uh, wool alpaca blend. And when this is wet finished, it's going to bloom. And also, I'm wanting this to be a nice uh, drapey scarf. So this is, if it's set at five, ends per inch and five picks per inch, I think that that will give me a nice, uh, a nice drapey fabric. So that is how you figure out your set on a yarn that is not necessarily a uh, weaving yarn, or maybe you don't know what the yarn actually is. You don't know what the size is, the labels come off, or you got it at a garage sale or something like that, or if you hand spun your yarn. And so you could figure it out using this method. When all else fails, uh, sample, and that will tell you what you're going to get when you uh, do your final project. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And stay tuned for the video of me making the scarf. Thanks and happy weaving.